My son was little. We're at a car wash. The same man was there every week. And he, he'd read the newspaper back in those days, a million years ago. And he said to me one day, he goes, how old's your boy? And he, I said, he's, he's six. And he goes, well, enjoy the six-year-old because when he turns seven, the six-year-old's gone forever. And when he turns eight, the seven-year-old's gone. And I remember thinking to myself, and I didn't mean to be rude to him because it's so true if you have children. They replace themselves every other, a new person, literally. And I said to him, sir, when did that stop for you, that change? And he just sort of stared back at me and goes, I don't know. I said, you should think about that. And it hit me that the 48-year-old me, though there should be a brand new man at 49, and the 48-year-old should be gone forever. The 24-year-old listening to this, when you turn 25, that 24-year-old should be gone just like your six-year-old version, your seven-year-old version. But something happens in our life, brother, at some age where that progression that growth begins to become stunted when we start to get affected with all these insecurities and worries and just life starts, we think, happening to us. And when we believe that, that process stops. And 25 is a lot like 26. 26 is a lot like 29. And you wake up and you go, man, it's been five years of the same chapters of the same book of my life.